Hello, Von Rand here. We're playing a Train Mechanic Simulator 2017 and starting off with another steam locomotive here. Job order number 15. Apparently, this is the new type of steam locomotive and we need to get acquainted with it. So I'm not entirely sure what that means, but... Uh, replace the pistons and the piston handles. Service the wheels of the truck. Okay. Ah, uh, there we go. Okay, right there. I was going to say, I'm not seeing anything bad yet. Okay, so we're going to, looks like we have to take a bunch of stuff off here just to even get to that part. Uh, I still can't take it off. Okay. Ah, got to be in this part. Okay. Yeah, that, that's still kind of annoying, having to be in the right spot to take off the part. I thought they said we were just supposed to get acquainted with it here. It didn't say nothing about repairing it. Okay, there we go. That should about do it for that side, and then this side. Okay, let's see how much of this we can repair here. And let's see what's everything else looks like the wrong... Oh, wait. One more piece here. Yeah, one more piece. And we need to switch workbenches. I'm assuming that's probably going to be the hydraulic workbench for that. Yes. Although I don't quite understand what that has to do with hydraulics, but I guess pressure, maybe? Or like the pressure workbench. Maybe that'd be more appropriate than the hydraulics, but whatever. Not sure why that's blinking up there, but again, whatever. Okay, I think that was everything. And then, of course, we got to go back to the truck section there. So we can put the remainder on. Of course, I'm kind of curious, too. Do they actually have a steam locomotive that actually looks like this? I'm not exactly a train expert here, so... Oh, not the right part. We need to be in... Was it the boiler? Yes, the boiler. Put the guards on here. Whoa, that's annoying. <laughs> not sure what I did there. But okay, yeah, like I was saying, do they actually have a steam a locomotive that actually looks like this. I mean, it looks a little bit modern to me just for being a steam locomotive. Okay, that should be complete, right? Yes. Finish the order. And we'll uh, see what's up next here. Like I said, I'm assuming we're going to be sticking with the steam line here. Probably have to finish up the steam locomotives, then we're back to probably the diesel or the electrics. I guess we'll find out. Oh, a couple uh, more new ones, I guess. Which 
Check the front lights. Check the condition of the whistle. In other words, repair it. <laughs> I like how they say, just check it. Don't say repair it, it just says check it. Actually, where would one find the whistle? I was thinking I was going to look up top, but... Uh, ah, there we go. Start in the front. Wonder, should I check the lights first? Let's just maybe check the lights, because it actually is kind of hard to tell with the lights here. It looks like they're the right color, or the same color of rusted. Yep, that was bad. Probably also bad. Yes, okay. Smoke box. Interesting. Just out of curiosity. Okay, so yeah, like one whole piece there. I'm just kind of looking to see if there's anything like inside here we can see. Oh yeah, there's a bunch of bits and pieces in here, isn't there? Interesting to see if we get a job that actually involves removing some of the stuff up in here. Anyway, let's uh, repair, or try to repair anyway. I'm guessing this will be electrical workbench. At least for the lights anyway. Okay, what's the guess? Hydraulic? Hey, it is hydraulic. Okay. And finally, the whistle. Okay, and should be good to go. Okay, number 17, a compressor at fault. Both the compressors and the pipes. Like number 18 there. We got to go find that one. Uh, check the condition of the compressors. Make sure the compressor pipes are good. Okay. Okay. So compressors. Where would we find those at? I'm guessing somewhere in the front of the uh, train here. Yep. I see the pipes that are bad. Just guessing here, we'll probably need to start by removing the guards, so let's take those off. Oh, there we go. Oh, do I need to take... Seriously need to take this whole top piece off to get to those, really? It, uh, that would appear to be what it is. Okay. Okay, what well, do I need to take off to get this off yet? Oh, the lights. <laughs> okay. Hopefully that's right anyway. That, that seems to be what it was showing we had to take. I guess this housing piece off. Let 
guessing that probably means that has to go as well. Okay, there we go. Oh, now we can see the tank. Or the boiler, I guess you could say. Okay, so now can we take these off? Yes, we can. And that looks like that pipe is good. That pipe we have to remove from the front. Okay, so... <laughs> right, so this one we have to remove from the boiler part. Okay, that's kind of annoying. Okay, there we go. I think we got it. And I'm just assuming here at the hydraulics orc bench. Yeah, if you leave the uh, the train looking like this, it kind of looks like the old uh, the old timer trains we've been uh, fixing so far, the old time steam locomotives. That is. Okay, and then to the front here to put on the front pipes. And uh, by the way, for those of you wondering if I would recommend this game or not, I would say it depends on whether or not you like the other repair mechanic simulators. If you don't like those games, then I'm going to say you're probably not going to like this one either. But if you liked some of the previous repair simulators, you know, car mechanic, tractor mechanic, truck mechanic, all those, then I would definitely say you're probably going to like this game as well. I would definitely recommend it. And like I said, it doesn't have, at least in my opinion, quite the refined feel that Car Mechanic Simulator had. Kind of feels maybe a little more like the uh, first version of the uh, Car Mechanic Simulator there. But definitely a very playable game. It seems like it's good so far. It's got a few bugs in it. You know, like when it says to find the train here and the train's not actually there. It's somewhere else. And sometimes as to what's wrong, it's not actually quite what's wrong. But anyway... You know, some minor quibbles there. Okay, we're complete. Uh, missing... Oh, yeah, we gotta put the sides on yet. Okay, now we sh No, wait a minute. We need to put the... What's all these pieces up here again? Pipes and rails and stuff on. Man, there should be some more than that. Yes, there we go. Boy, I can't really tell where it's at until you kind of like mouse over it, then it highlights it. Okay, there we go. Okay, what do we got next? Yeah, this is the one we're going to have to go tow this one in, aren't we? And where is this at? Uh, in the port again. Okay. We'll see if we can uh, find this here then. And again, where is the port at? Way down there. Okay. Let's see if it actually is way down there or not. Let's see. It looks like that's... Yeah, this should get us roughly in the right area. 
We'll have to see once we actually get over there. Which way this is all going. Looks like it's going the right direction for us. Yep, looks like it's going the right direction. So we'll just uh, keep it going here. Guess we can go inside the train. We haven't done much of that yet. Not that there's really that much to see inside here. And I'm not aware of any of the uh, controls that actually do anything either, by the way. Oh, that would be kind of cool. Oh, you can now move the controls. Does it? Oh, it does work. Okay, I did not know that. So we can move that one up. Can't click on any of those there. Okay, so we can use the uh, the braking and the throttle here. I don't know what the bottom one does. I suppose we should uh, look at the map here again a minute. Uh, we are still, yes, we are still going in the right direction. Okay. Probably should be paying attention a little more outside, too. Make sure we didn't, you know, pass the train somewhere. Okay, we should be coming up on the port area here pretty quick. Yes. Hey, look at that. There's a green circle over there. That's a good sign. And then full speed ahead. Looks like we are actually good for a straight run in again, maybe. I'll have to see once you know. Probably uh, here we'll have to maybe switch something, but... Oh, the horn button works here, too. Okay. The other ones apparently don't appear to do anything. Okay, how are we looking at our map here? Yeah, we'll have to switch one of these. Uh, let's see, northern boundary. I think that's the one. Yep, okay, we should be good to go. Team locomotive back there is probably not used to going this fast. Although we are, I guess we are in kilometers per hour here again, aren't we? Which is only uh, 76 kilometers an hour. It's probably somewhere around 40 miles per hour. Forty, forty-five. I'm guessing. Okay, and we'll go to repair. And uh, for those of you wondering how I do the uh, conversion there, kilometers to miles per hour. I do it the easy way. I just figure half. Or, if you're going the other way, miles to kilometers, then I double. And yes, before anybody says anything, yes, I know that's not quite right. And it's more like six-tenths. But, I figure it gets you a close enough number. Okay, what are we looking for here? The valves in the steam engine's cabin. Okay. Those valves appear to be okay to me, but... Oh, maybe not. Not from this view, they don't look okay. Not see any other valves up here we should be checking. From this view, they look okay. So let's uh, pull this one off here, then. These down here don't look too good, either. What happens when the driver's probably yanking on them too fast and trying to turn them valves? I 
doing uh, pretty good on our repair work here this episode so far. So far, I don't think we've had to buy any parts, and we've been able to repair everything. A 100% uh, chance there. Pretty good. Uh, we don't have everything upgraded quite fully yet, but getting close. I think everything needs one more, or no, wait. Uh, one of them needs one more level, and the other one needs one more level. I think one of them is maxed out. I don't remember which one again here without looking. Okay, there we go. How are we looking? One part not found. Okay, so we probably have something else here yet. Nothing uh, standing out right away here, but... Okay, is there any other valve? Oh, we got some more valves. Oh, there's a lot of valves here. My goodness, they're small levers anyway. Okay, where would we find our last... I said not see anything right offhand. I'll uh, try to maybe... Oh, wait. I think i seen it. I think i seen it. Pipe 6 here? Yes, there we go. Like I said, it's a little hard to see with the, uh, the color of the pipes. The color of the pipes kind of look like rust. So it's a little bit hard to tell at times if it's bad or if it's just actually that color. Okay, now we should be all set. Okay, let's see. Where are we at? Um, this might be a quick one. So let's, uh, yeah, we'll do this one here yet. Job number 19 here. And then we'll probably wrap it up for this episode. Repair the water meters in the boiler. Find the problem with the reverser box. Oh, so this might not be such a quick one. I guess we'll find out. Uh, let's see. Where would one find a reverser box? Not seeing anything in the front here. What about the back? Oh, here we go. So in the cab. Oh, that's a lot of bolts. Okay. Funny how some stuff doesn't have bolts that you think probably should, and something like this that, yeah, it probably should have some bolts in it, but oh my goodness, look at all the bolts. They need to uh, distribute them out amongst a few of the other parts, too, maybe. Okay, there we go. Oh, put us down here. Interesting. So we got that, and we need repair the water meters in the boiler. Probably going to be up here somewhere, I would assume, right? Does in the boiler? Ah, there we go. Okay, so both of those. It actually might be a quick one then, maybe.
Ooh, 66% chance. Finally going to have something we can't repair this episode. Guess we should have waited on this then. Uh, is that the workbench that is fully upgraded? That is the hydraulic workbench. Yes, that one is fully improved. So we are not going to get anything else out of that one. And the best you can get is 66%. So we're going to buy two new water boiler level thingies, I think. We get uh, two of those. And uh, by the way, I, th I pointed this out last episode. Uh, where am I going here? I want to go to this one. Uh, if I sell these parts, uh, let's see, I can see money. Oh, which one shows me my money again? I think we go here. Yes, approve. Uh, I currently have $10,050. The right one here. If I sell these and sell this one, I still have $10,050. So my money hasn't gone up. Uh, there doesn't seem to be any advantage from what I can tell uh, from selling old parts and stuff like that. And yeah, if there is an advantage, I'm not sure what it is. Should have probably upgraded our wrenching uh, speed there. Seems how like we had to do a bunch. Okay, are we good? Yes, we are. Well, there we go. We'll uh, just take a quick look before we, uh, again, wrap up the episode. See what we have coming up next. Uh, job order number 20. Oh. Gave us an old locomotive, which requires superficial repairs. Find all the rusty parts and may I thought this was looks like the newer style. At least that's what they have on the picture anyway. Ooh, fair amount of money for that job too. So anyway, we'll come back next episode. We'll start on number 20. Uh, we did what, 15 through 19 here this episode. So with that, you folks have any comments or questions, be sure to leave them below. And as always, thanks for watching and until next time.